Hello everybody, Retrobeard here. How are you all doing? It's Wednesday afternoon, it's just gone 5pm GMT time in the UK. Um, before I get started, I want to say if you enjoy my content, please remember to like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell, leave me a comment. It's much appreciated. So with that said, let's get started. Um, well, I hope everyone's had a good week and um, returning to work hasn't been too, too painful. It's um, It's not been too bad on my end. Just, um, just the usual. Yeah, so. No complaints, really. Been, um, getting on over the last few days trying to build up a TikTok account. I've got put, been putting the retro beard, um, brand, for lack of a better word, um, on there. And I've got 700 followers. That's good. Instagram's doing fantastic, so you might want to check out those platforms. And I'm um, YouTube is, you know, ticking along nicely. Can't complain. I just, I just need to uh, get this new, these new series of, of um, videos going. But one thing at a time. I want to give people a chance to get into the new year and you know catch their breaths, if that, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm just looking for something to try out. Dark Castle. I don't know that. that. Might be worth a go. Electronic Arts were a pretty darn good brand back in these days. They weren't what they are now. I don't recall this game. Good music. Okay, the buttons don't seem to make it do anything. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Either the control is not responding, or it's a game that has a mandatory intro. Oh, oh here we go. Uh. Oh, that was disappointing. For a minute I thought they were going to be the graphics. Oh, it's a sort of poor man's Prince of Persia, is it? Or poor man's Another World. Not really getting on with the, contr the controls. Oh. Yeah, this probably ain't gonna work for me. Oh, that's a bit um. Yeah, I'm gonna be turning this one off. It doesn't even seem to control properly. That's one game um filed under never again. Yeah, just let me try the game out, please, mate. For an easy mode. Digest sounds good. Not sure what that means, but hopefully it means really easy for noobs. Yeah, just get me into the game. I wish in these games you could intercept the shots with your shots, that would make them a lot easier for someone like me who struggles with shooting ups. Yeah, I think I'm going to start the, um... the new series soon of, um... I've been getting my, my wargaming area, um, ready. And, um, start the streaming of the wargaming stuff soon. Especially if um, interest in the retro gaming stuff doesn't pick up, I'll never stop doing retro gaming because it's my—it's you know—it's one of my pleasures. But am I invincible? Is that the problem here? Is that why it's called digest? Hi, Henrik. I'm good, thanks. How are you, my friend? Happy New Year and all that stuff. Or is this just simply four shields that run out? I've been active on TikTok, Henrik, if you're interested. I've got Retro Beard on TikTok now. 
I'm trying to crack that. So I've got 700 followers in three days, so it's encouraging. I wish I could do that on YouTube. If I could grow as fast as I grow in these other things. I think I like I like TikTok because it's quite bite-sized content. You just do something, record, you know, something, and then just put it on there, and you've got content. It's quite suitable for somebody with somebody with not a lot of time. And people love it. I'm going to change the game because I this digest mode seems to be invincibility. Deadly moves. What about that? Weird. Oh. Buttons do it. <laughs> On player, let's give it a go. No passwords, just let me play the game, please. What's this? Oh no, is it a poor man's street fighter game? I'll be Nick. Oh man. Oh, I'm a Joe. This is appalling, man. That is a terrible game. I don't know how it looks on the stream, but to play it's just an abomination. I sort of learn quite often why I've never heard of these games because they weren't worth learning about. Slow down, man. How do you block? Blocks don't work on this game. I can't play that anymore. I'm not very good at um, suffering on terrible games. Have we got anything that's actually worth playing in this list of games? Not Double Dragon, the Mega, the Mega Drive Double Dragon looks looks arcade perfect almost, but it plays like a monkey's bum. What have we got? I really must um, spend an hour soon and replace my ROM sets with my improved ones. Oh, thank you, my friend. Um, Diablo, I know there's... I think Alan's ready. But I've not heard from him for a little while, but I believe Alan's ready. So it sounds like you're almost ready. Well, I don't know about Dark and, and Tracks. We talked about it briefly, but it sounds like he's very busy, so we'll have to see with him. So we'll, we'll have to start out quite... Um, we'll have to start out quite modest. But I think if we get on there... And we just play and have a bit of fun, and I record it and use it. It doesn't even matter if we haven't got voice chat set up at that point. We can even just play and have some fun for half an hour or an hour or something. I usually game for about an hour. I get tired after that, you see. But about an hour, about an hour, about an hour would be a nice um, starting point. Um, but yeah, we'll do it soon. But it won't be a stream, like I say, like I said before. It'll be a video. So we'll just. Um, I think we, I think we should do it really soon. Once we can talk to Alan, and once you say you've got Game Ranger set up, say I believe Alan is completely done and ready. I think with him it's down to what times he can do. But even if it's just me and you or something, it's a start, isn't it? It's some content for the channel as well because I want I definitely want more content than just these streams because I think I think a lot of people are a bit bored of it now. So I'm hoping new um, new stuff like that will draw people in and keep the channel alive. Do I jump on the heads? I had this game on cartridge, but I sold it because it absolutely hate it. But one thing I will say is it's visually beautiful. But I needed money, and beautiful didn't cut it. Happy New Year, Chris Payne. How you doing, my friend? Hope you had a good one, and all went well. Oh god, this game. I'm glad I sold it. As beautiful as, as beautiful as it is. Uh, 
Um, oh god, I forgot the name. I've only seen it a second ago. It must be my dementia. Oh crap. It's a game that I, I actually had this on cartridge, but I sold it last year because as beautiful as it looks for the Mega Drive, because you think this is Super Nintendo, wouldn't you? This is Mega Drive. But it plays like pig. It's got... Look how slow he walks. And it just... It's got bad timings. It's, it's a shame because it's visually... It's absolutely a treat. But graphics alone don't make a game, do they? Oh. It's really sluggish. And there's a lot of delay when you try and do things. If they'd have put as much love in the playability as they did the graphics, this would have been a masterpiece. I wanted to like this game so badly when I got it. Have you, have you ever had that when you... Well, when you want to love a game, but you just can't? I'd, well, it was just on the list of games, and I, and I, rem and I had, a, you know, a few feelings about the game. And let's face it, graphically, it makes it's it's worth playing just for the graphics for a few minutes. And also, I I got the cartridge for free, and I sold it for. A, pretty penny, so I'm also celebrating that. When you buy a game for, f when you get a game for free and then you sell it for like 60, 70 pound, it's a good reason to celebrate. Do I swim? Oh yes, I swim. I played Mass Effect briefly on the Xbox 360. I couldn't really get into it, but I have to admit it, it is a game I wish to revisit and do some justice to. Um, back then I wanted quicker, you know, quicker um, hits back then. I was more of a Halo Gears of War um, mood. But I really, I realised that it's a classic and I really must revisit it. Okay, so what do I, where do I go? The rope don't seem, oh, it does now, it works now. Yes, Henrik. I think the visuals just, um... I think the visuals just ate the Mega Drive's resources for breakfast, because this looks, um... Like something you'd get on a 32-bit system platform, I don't want you. I don't think I can... But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave it now, because I'm running out of patience. Hello, Alan! Happy New Year! It's good to see you, my friend. Forgotten Worlds? Was that a good Mega Drive port? I'm just ploughing through these Mega Drive games. I wasn't planning on ploughing through them, but they're driving me insane, so... Satellite speed, game difficulty, normal or hard, is that it? Brutal, man. How are things on the Di Diablo front, Alan? Are you all ready and set up? I believe, um, I think Henrik is about ready and I'm about ready to start filming. We don't even have to do a uh, voice yet. We can just do a, a game session in future, near future. Flintstones, we'll check it out in a minute, Chris. Uh, why are the controls not working? He's not going up. He won't move. I always thought he goes up and down in this game. Uh... Damn emulators, I'll have to get this on real hardware and try it out. I realised the other day I, I own at least two Sega Mega Drives. I've got a Mega Drive 1 and Mega Drive 2. Because I had a bit of a sort out in my stock room. I had a very good um, Christmas, thank you, and you? Excellent, Alan, so you're ready. So, so, and all Henrik needs to do is install Game Ranger, so Henrik's about on board. Let's get Flintstones on for Chris. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll have a game for we'll have a game, even if it's just the three of us, and um, we'll um, record the footage. But we don't have to talk at first. We can just have a bit of a, a, a whirl. Just, but it'll give me some some more content for this channel because I think I've got street. I think people have got a bit of stream fatigue with me, so a bit more content that people can watch no matter what time they're doing things is good. Um, nice Flintstones music. 
Well, I'm, um... Because of my working hours and stuff... Probably... Probably outside of streaming, probably... Would choo Tuesday, Thursday, or Sunday... Between four or s between four and sort of our five on a in the afternoon slash evening, is that any good? Happy New Year! Let's get started on this. We could just perhaps do just do an hour, an hour because I don't I don't like playing games for more than an hour anyway. So about an hour just to get a, just to wet our um wet our teeth. Is that the right saying? Cut our teeth, whatever. Oh, this is nice graphics. It's a lot more responsive than that last game. At least it feels... How do I get to that crap? Oh, there we go. What do you think, Chris? Does this look good? Okay. Combats. Ugh. How does he not jump up the building? Or can he jump up select buildings? What about Sunday? Sunday about 4 o'clock UK time. Okay, I don't have to climb. Oh, now he does it. That's weird how it's inconsistent. Wilma! This game's got interest in physics. This could almost be a Master System game, wouldn't it? Yeah, about an hour. Because I, like I, I don't like to game for more than about an hour anyway, because of my concentration. But an hour would make a lot of good content. Like I say, even if we don't talk at first, if we just play or something. Yeah. What about you, what about you Henrik? Could you do Sunday? About four o'clock or something? Or just after four? Are you, oh, do you make the bridge? Oh. Oh man, the timing on this. That sounds good, Chris. I had some brother's toffee apple cider. A couple of bottles of that. <sighs> Bugger. Excuse my French. I need a bloody a medal after that. Oh, this game is a um, cheap and cheerful um, platformer. Recommended if you like simple, fun platformers. And visually, it does the job, but it's got no bells and whistles. Oh, crud. A bloody shark. Ah. Huh. Oh. Okay, I thought, it was I thought it was sending me right back to the beginning then. Okay, so I'm going to keep running to avoid this darn shark. To hell with power ups, I've got to keep running. <sighs> Flipping heck. Oh, I'm safe. Oh, that egg. Oh, yeah, I've upgraded. Oh, yeah, look at this, man. I've upgraded. The flying seems to be finite. Oh. What kind of bird can fly like that? I suppose I am on his back. Oh, I see. It's a glorified jumping machine. But it doesn't. Oh, I've lost my bird. Destroy my life. Oh, beggar. Well, we're all different, aren't we? I don't like all the flavoured ciders, but because I've got a funny stomach, the brother's um, cider range is a lot kinder in my stomach because it doesn't contain any nasties. This feels like uh, futility. I'm back at the flipping bottom again.
It's a, it's a, it's a nice little game. It's probably a lot more suitable for someone with more um, mental and physical agility than me. Let's just say somebody with more coordination and all those other gifts that I don't. I do get the feeling I'm about done. I'm back at the. F Back at the bloody beginning, I'm about to quit this game. Well, I hope you've had a sample of it, Chris, to see if it's your sort of game or not, my friend. Oh, just a bit short. Um. Okay, so I should see you guys about about Sunday 4 then. I'll meet you on Game Ranger rather than on here or anything. Um, I'm going to change the game. Woodpecker side, that's a blast from the past. Um, the legend of Gal Gain Ground. Oh, Gain Ground, I better not. I better not indulge. Gen Fire. Don't offer me the good games. Gods, G Lock, Golden Axe. Have you guys ever seen Golden Axe 3? That's an interesting game. I want to drink my tea. Yeah, I wouldn't play it in a million years in my own time after that. Goonies, we'll have to check it out. Yes, this Sunday. I had the booster and I was fine, so the odds are in your favour. It'll be a casual bit of fun. Get to know the game, have some fun. Um, I will be recording the footage, so I recommend we don't do voices yet so that no one feels self-conscious or anything. Um... I'll, I'll have my microphone on just for commentary, but you won't hear my, my voice, don't worry. Um, oh, the dwarf's like the dungeon master, is he now? Panthro. But yeah. Hey, Chris, I've got feelings. I haven't got no feelings at all. You know that already, don't you? But no, um... We'll, we'll, we'll be um, fighting all side by side as brothers in arms. Di communi well, Diab Diablo communication is not essential. You just walk around the dungeon together killing crap. I mean, we can do voice chat if you want. I'm not saying we can't. I just didn't want to put any pressure on you guys. Text. You can do text chat on Steam or text chat on Game Ranger. Yeah, Game Ranger's got his own text chat. Whatever. I think you can also text chat in the game. I might be wrong. I like the parallax in these deserts. We can do voice chat if you want. I'll leave it to you guys' discretion so there's no pressure. This is a very much a... Um, detraction from the original Diablo. Nice sprite work, though. Whatever you guys want, I'm cool. Well, bear in mind, we'll be using the Game Range um, communication system, not Diablo's servers. Oh, did I accidentally use the magic? Ah, oh, well. Who needs magic? Magic's for goons. Should we, should we get there, get the game running, and then see how we feel? I'm more than happy to do a, a, a proper voice chat on Steam. I'm more than happy. I just didn't want to pressurise you guys, because I will be using... I wanted to forewarn you I'll be using the footage, because my channel is screaming for content. Um, That's a good question, Chris. Um... PlayStation 2, I'd say. Mega Drive has got a special place in my heart because um, it was what I, you know, I sort of hit my teenage years with. We got it when I was about 11, I think. I know 11's not a teenager, but you know, you blossom into a teenager, don't you? 
in theory, we'll have no tech issues, in theory. Game range is perfect, but you never know, do you? So you are right. I think if we get there and it all happens and we're all there playing, we've really, we're really on a winner and we can't go wrong. But yeah, iron out the bugs the first few sessions, if there is any bugs. And if there's no bugs, that's a bonus. Mega Drive, Chris, is probably my third or fourth favourite system. The older I get, the less I enjoy it, if that makes any sense. I, I find um, I've got less patience for the sort of games on it, which is very disappointing, because in my from the ages of 11 to about 15, I loved the Mega Drive. Yeah, very true. Oh, wow, they was fast. Look at these ladies. Oh, they don't like cats. Yeah, well, this won't because this won't be streaming. It'll just be game capture, and I'm using um, the built-in um, Windows game capture. It should be all right. That's why I was giving everyone fair warning because if they do talk, it'll be part of the video, and that means their voices are their voices belong to me basically in the video, and I can't get rid of them. That's it. So I like to give people fair warning that they're going from text chat into being actually part of my content and some people don't want that do they so it's like a disclaimer type thing nice spear works like King Leonidas yeah I try and be an idealist being, being cynical as it's as it's time and place but sometimes being cynical can hold you back This is a very nice little playable game for the most part. I mean, it's got no, um, it's pretty lean. It's got no um, unnecessary graphics and features going on, but it's 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 proper golden axe fun. And the multi, I bet the multiplayer mode's good. They attempted to spice up the formula, but yet it's got um, nods to the original. At least it's got less of that crap where they keep running at you and knocking you over. I hate that in the original Golden Axe games when they keep running at you and knocking you on your ass again and again. It's like a cheap hit. Yes, well, I played it on my own with my own server on Game Ranger and I recorded the footage and it was absolutely no problem. So that's an encouraging start, isn't it? Good block. This is my sort of game. Yeah, I have, a, I have a lot of nostalgia for the SNES as well, but like the Mega Drive, it's kind of dwindling. Where the PlayStation 1 is still there, PlayStation 2 I absolutely love, but I, I've not had a lot of luck emulating PlayStation 2. It's just not a great experience. I mean, Dark Entrax did warn me, if I remember a long time ago, I think he did, but I like to find things out for myself, I, it's not that I doubt him, I totally believe him and respect his knowledge, but it's also nice to wet your own fingers and get things, you know, wet your own fingers, what am I on about, what am I thinking of, it's also nice to just, you know, do your own, um, you know, do you have your own experiences as well, because if I just, if I just sit back and just listen continuously to people, I'll never learn anything myself, so it's good to balance listening with doing, also I don't want to be dependent, I think I, I, um, I got too dependent and it's not fair because, you know, the guy wants to chill out and not be my technical support service. Which is what I do now. I, I, I let the guy get on with his life because he's got a very big job and um, his channel's doing well. And he was very kind and patient to me. More patient than I am. I'm hoping Dark Entrax will join us. Actually, I'll give him an invite because I don't think I'm not sure if he watches my videos if he's got time. So what I'll do is I'll message him on Instagram and give him an invite for Sunday. If he's got the invite, he can come along. If he can't make it, that's just as cool, isn't it? But if the person's not been invited, they've not even got the chance. Which the invite's open to anyone on the channel. Boom. Yeah. Oh, what another potion? Click that. I'm fully powered. 
This panther's really tough. This is a nice arcadey game. I recommend Golden Axe 3 to anyone. It's, the, it's my favourite in the series. Of, on the Mega Drive, at least. Those poor peasants. Let them go. Okay, that didn't go quite as well as I'd hoped. I'm gonna... Okay, magic! Yeah, um, you see, voice chat and Game Ranger requires the premium paid service, which I don't recommend and I don't have. So I would recommend we voice chat on Steam if that's what you wish to do. We can just make a channel together. I can help on the time with it. Um, I am... Um, what's my Steam name? I'll check my Steam name before the stream ends. Remind me to have a look. I'll load Steam up because then you guys can add me on Steam if you so wish. Because my Steam name is not Retrobeard because my account is very old. And I've had other guises over the years. Before I was a social media person, I was, um, for many, many decades, well, not many decades, several decades, I was an online gaming person. So, I, so I've got other personas, um, which are, are, are a little bit embarrassing now. Now I'm a man in his 40s. What seemed edgy when you were 18 doesn't seem so good when you're 40-odd, but, um, yeah, I'll, I'll give you my account name. I don't mind it in his stream. People can add me if they want. Then you guys can natively contact me on Steam without worrying about it on the day, can't you? Same goes for anyone who wants to join us, or anybody who wants to play me on Steam, it's cool. I'm an open guy. I'll add that, I'll add you later. Thank, thank you, Alan. She's a screamer. Oh, multiple choices, we're living the dream here. Feeling a bit like Panfro, I just need my num nunchucks. Yeah, I know it's terrible that I've forgotten my Steam name, but I want to make sure I say it right and don't miss out a letter or something. Okay, she's annoying me now. And I'm jealous of her legs, because I've got skinny legs. I don't like a swimming cap, though. Please die. I'm doing the cheap look. Oh, she got me with a cheap shot. Yes. That showed her. Hey. It's the vending machine. Why is my control stop? There you go, on the back. It was just me. I also found a surprise when I was sorting out my back room. I've also got an original Xbox console. I've got more consoles than I thought I did. An original Xbox console. I need to check out if that works. I've also made a decision for a video I'll be doing in future. When I've got some money in the next 20 or 30 years, I'm going to um, upgrade my Xbox One X to an internal SSD. So if you guys want me to film the upgrade and um, and put it, make it into a video, like a semi how to video because I want faster loading times out of my Xbox One X and I don't want to buy a Series X because I don't fancy buying things that are not available in shops and spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds but if I upgrade my Xbox One X with an SSD, an internal SSD, one terabyte about 80 pound it'll cost that'd be a lovely upgrade how does that sound? okay I need some magic it's a kind of magic Look at the graphics! <gasps> Bet that hurt him. Or has it crashed the game? Oh no. Yes! Stay down. Oh, or not. Yeah, I've got a few little projects lined up. Oh, and I also sold my Super Console X on eBay. I got £25 for it. Which, when you remember the fact that I've not got an SSD, an SD card with it, with the firmware, 
and have not got um, the controllers included. 25 quid was not a bad return. I'm no longer I'm no longer part of the um, Super Console X Club. When they release a really good quality budget model that's the equivalent, I will rejoin the club like the Super Console X Generation 10 by Kin Hank. With 8 core, 2 GHz processor, 4 GB of RAM, and a better GPU than the Nvidia Shield for £45, then I'll rejoin the Super Console X team. I freed him. I must beg your pardon. Can I execute him? Execute Order 66! Is that it? What else have I um, got to say? I've said about the Super Console X, I've said about my, my, my Xbox One X. What other projects have I got lined up? Oh, there was something else, and that annoying. I'm also going to put in um, 8 gig more RAM into my laptop. Anybody wants me to film doing that, make a little video I can. For any anybody who's not particularly technically savvy. Technically? Te technically savvy? Oh, yeah. My English skills are terrible today. Well, they say people with Asperger's, um, English works like... Their native language is like a second language for them. They don't get to have a first language. So I've got that in my defence. That my brain interprets my own language like a second language. I explained when I was a kid why I had absolutely freaking years of speech therapy. And selective mutism. Well done! You did well, Alan. Your laptop microphone will suffice perfectly fine, Henrik. It will be adequate. It won't be glorious, you know, glorious sound, but it will be absolutely fine. Don't worry. You can always tweak the settings anyway and get it exactly how you want it. I mean, you can buy a dedicated microphone. My microphone was only 25 quid, but I don't, I don't think it's great. My, video, my, my voice and my videos don't sound as good as I want it to, but... I would argue that sticking with your laptop's microphone's fine. I think you should only get a proper microphone if you want to do, you know, do something for a channel. But that's just my opinion. So I say save yourself some money and use what you've got, my friend. So your, re your dedicated RetroArch's um, setup is getting really good then, is it, Alan? Perhaps I need to... And perhaps I need to reconsider RetroArch and, and see if it's how much is Maybe you could give me some help or something. I don't say help, I just mean the occasional question. I don't mean I'll suck the parasitic life out of you. You know, like, bothering you every five minutes. I mean just the occasional reassurance type thing. There was another project I was doing and I forgot what it is. It's really annoying. But you hate that when you've got... When you're spending money you've not got yet, and you think, oh no, it is. I'm also going to buy a second CRT soon. Because I only own one CRT, and I was thinking when my friend comes over. Oh crap. Excuse that. When my. Really? The joys of input lag. When my friend comes over and we do some PlayStation 1. I'll have to ask my friend and see if he um, if he'd rather use my flat screen or a CRT because if he'd rather use my flat screen, I won't bother. Well, having a second CRT is good for having a spare, isn't it? So I'm second guessing myself now, but yeah, I think I will buy a second CRT. Ah. Maybe I should consider it then. Is it is it automatically set up or do you have to do hours and hours of work like what I've had to do? I'm finding all these separate emulators to be a royal pain in the arse. Yeah. Another option, um, another option, Henrik, if you're not happy, 
is what like your hands-free um, headphones that come with mobile phones. They're quite good microphones, or at least adequate ones. They should do a, Di a they should do a um, Diablo TV series and a Golden Axe TV series. How are we doing? Yeah. Ah. I'll check that out. I can always give it a chance. Because my, my setup, although it's come, it's come on leaps and bounds, you know, if you can improve something and make it easier, of course you do it. Hello, Karaoke Bloki. How you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. A karaoke blokey is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Uh oh. I call upon the magic of the gods! And the cheap graphical effect. Stay down and live. Must free the civilian. Oh, it's not a civilian, it's a bad guy. Mr. Gandalf, sir. I remember when Lord of the Rings was that, I spend hours trying to do Samwise Gamgee impressions. I could never quite get a Samwise impression down. It's the whininess. It's me, your Sam. Don't you know your Sam? I can't, I just can't do it. Mr. Frodo, sir. We made a promise, Mr. Frodo. Don't leave him. I don't mean to. I don't mean to. Yeah. That's kind of why it's a sad person I am. I spend hours trying to do impressions and I just can't get them. And then one night in the pub, we had a, um, a, a Smeagol competition in the pub and about 20 grown men were all doing Smeagol impressions and the winner got loads of beers and I came third. What are the likelihood of being in a pub full of people who can do Smeagol impressions? And I was a bit naughty. I know you can't do this sort of thing these days, but the barman who decided the winner was a bit of a portly fellow, and I I, I, I called him a stupid fat hobbit, which he got offended with. The things I've done. I'd be cancelled by today's standards. All in good humour and all in ignorant stupidity. I told you guys about the Morpheus story, didn't I? Which I was a bit patchy with it because I was in full of alcohol. There's a poor damsel in distress. Let me undistress her. Boom. Yeah. I like how you can block in this game. A Golden Axe game where you can block. What more do you need? Thanks to Street Fighter 2, they started to teach. Giving you blocking powers in games. Bigger sprites. Street Fighter 2 did far more than, than improve and popularise one-to-one -one fighting games. Yes. My, um... My mouth has always been a lot quicker than my brain. And what seems to be a funny great idea, or something I'm just telling the message, or, you know, being blunt, it comes out as an absolute hurtful insult. But, like I say, better to ask for forgiveness than permission, and I've had to ask for a lot of forgiveness over the years. The only good thing about being someone like me is, you don't get a lot of friends, but you get the right friends and family, because they're people who are true, because they're putting up with your silliness and your awkward things, and they still love you. So, I mean, I haven't got many people in my life, I'm quite a loner, but it's better than 20 or 30 people I can't stand. And who can't stand me? I'd like more. I'd like I'd like uh, my full family back because I've got estranged members of my family. But you know you can't always get what you want, or, or sometimes it's not the right time, or they're not right for you, or you're not right for them. I mean I don't know which one of these it is, but you know don't force things. What will be will be. Just keep your heart and your mind open, and let the rest be in the fate of whatever you believe in. God, the universe, science, likelihood. Prophecy, whatever you believe in. Chi, 
Yin, yang, whatever. I will be avenged. We're doing our first Diablo session on Sunday, um, Karaoke Blokey, at four o'clock. I know you're not ready, but I'm just giving you the offer out of a sense of rightness. So even though you're not ready, at least I've given you the offer. And I will keep on giving you the offer, so when you are ready, you can join the team. Yeah! What time is it? Okay, I'll just check in so I don't forget to give my Steam account name out. It's always wise putting it on a... saying it on a stream. We're all in this together. Yes. It's an open offer, Karaoke Blokey, because, um, there'll be, you know, there'll be other occasions. This is not the end, this is the beginning. We're doing voice chat on Steam, but we're using Game Ranger and the actual game as our platforms. Awesome, we'll be waiting for you. Then you can design your character and go in and feel the pain of death. I mean, victory in battle and glory. Okay, have I got... Oh, I've only got one magic spell. Might as well cast it. This is the power of my eczema. When I shake my skin, this is what happens. And my dandruff. Stay down. That guy went to the same gym as me. Oh, I'm, I'm fat shaming again. I need to stop. He looks splendid in his suit of plate armor. He's a big chap as well. I'm jealous. In the meantime, Karaoke Loki, you can decide what will it be. Female rogue with a bow and arrow. Male fighter or male wizard. The choices you've got. Of course, you can be a bit of all those things. You can have a wizard with a sword and armor if you want. You can have a, a fighter with some magic. You can be a rogue who hasn't got a bow and arrow, but instead she uses a staff or a sword. You can be anything you want, really. Oh, great. I use my magic on these guys. Not on these guys. I used it before I got to these guys. Dandruff and your bowl. That's impressive. I I had I never had these sort of problems really. And then and then during the lockdown um, last year when we were no no year before last when we were all things were happening diseases and illnesses and masks and habit change and staying in. I developed like an eczema -y, psoriasis -y thing on my multiple parts of my body, which thankfully a lot of them have cleared up. A few of them haven't. I've still got a patch on my finger and my, and and, and, and the, I'm glad the worst one cleared up because it, it got it went in a very bad area, if you know what I'm saying. And it kind of got in the way of my um, plans. <laughs> and I finally, after about a month, that cleared up. And it's been gone forever, thank God. My legs have got a lot better. I'm almost so it's just really a couple of places now. I don't know what it was. Stress? Some sort of long COVID crap? I don't know. And I've had to use... I have to use baby shampoo on my um, head because my skin's so sensitive now. I don't smoke, no, my friend. My um, allergies are too are too sensitive to smoke. My parents used to smoke when I was a kid and it used to about kill me. Did, like, permanent damage. In the old days, in the 80s, when our parents used to just smoke about us in the house and just smoke all over our food and smoke smoke everywhere and smoke in the car, just slowly killing us, it's all right. The good old days. I don't have any ill will for what they did. It's just the times, isn't it? We all do things in stupidity in the times. I've got my list of um, stupid actions and decisions and words and I really like this game I don't like being beaten up by these horned idiots though
Yeah, I, I, I detest all aspects of smoking apart from the look of a Gandalf pipe, which I've got a sort of pipe. I don't smoke it. I just occasionally use it in my mouth for a prop. Oh, sugar. Well, I don't I don't have tons of sugar. Um I gave up I gave up um Coca-Cola and stuff last year and I don't have sugar in my tea. I have a squidge of honey. We're all different, aren't we? My, but my um my problems be getting a lot better. I've also discovered I'm latex allergic, or allergic to latex, whatever it's called. That's say latex intolerant, but that's the wrong word, isn't it? You, you must be already sweet enough. Oh, man, these bosses have been difficult. I'm going to do these bosses, then I'm going to turn the game off. Um, turn the outside light on, then go to my Steam account. And get the account name for you guys. Lord Henrik, very impressive. I do. But I used to. I'm a good boy nowadays because I'm married. I don't fancy um, a second divorce in my life. I'm getting a bit weary of reinventing myself every five years. Okay. Let's turn this game off and I'll be right back. Excuse me. I apologize about that. I'm back. Okay, Alan, take care, my friend. I'll see you on Sunday. Well, actually, I'm streaming on Friday as well, if you can make it. Um, thanks a lot for coming along. Let's get Steam up. Um, so I can show, it, it might just be Sir underscore Whirlwind, oh it is. Yeah, so it's, um, yeah, it's Sir underscore Whirlwind. I don't know if you grabbed that before you've gone, Alan, you've seen that. And you were Polygon Slayer, was it one word? Was it two words, Polygon Slayer? In fact, what am I doing? I should add... Add a friend. Friend code? What the heck? Ah, here we go. Polygon. Polygon Slayer. One, oh, one word. Okay, that helps. I may as well do it now. I'm, I'm just Sir underscore well. And there you are. I recognise that um, handsome face. Add as a friend. There we go. My duty is done. Well, Henrik, and anybody else, feel free to add me on this or give me your names. It's up to you. We'll all be one happy family or one miserable family. Depends how you think about it, because Diablo is quite a, um, a um, depressing game. See you, buddy. What time is it? 54. I've done things in good time. Maybe we can sneak in one last game. What about hard driving? All driving's hard with me. Is this that awful 3D game that used the, the polygons, like a defective version of the Super FX chip going on? Oh, traffic. Left. We're not in the barbaric country. Manual shift, reverse, game mode, practice, difficulty, easy. I'm easy. Here we go. I've done this already. Can I just play the game, dude? Choose transmission, auto. But I'm looking at here. Oh, God, it is this game. Do you remember this game, guys? I remember it's back in the arcades and, and the home computer ports, like the Spectrum, where it would go down to about seven frames per second. Yeah. If a game ever needed the Super FX chip or whatever, this is it. What the heck? 
This is what we thought the future would be. Oh. It's like when I drive a real car. Look at those graphics. My God. I mean, it was a, a valiant attempt. But, you know, the old um, hardware on the Mega Drive just weren't going to be doing this, even with blast processing, or blast processing, as the Americans call it. <sighs> what a game. Oh, what a game to finish on. This is proof the Mega Drive doesn't need extra chips in the hardware. It just needs a bloody miracle. Okay, um, Karaki Blokey, take care, my friend. I'll see you soon. Thanks for coming along. I'm streaming Friday. I've lost the road. I'm the, the stream's about finished anyway, so you've timed it well. What a game to finish on. Good game, good game. Here we are, to the bridge. Now we're getting some speed. Wow, my God. I can't play this. Whew. Well, I am about done. That game has just finished me off. Um, Golden Axe 3 was the only game today that I really enjoyed. The rest were a bit of a mixed bag, but, you know, can't complain. I'll be back. What day is it? Wednesday. I'll be back Friday, usual time, usual place. Everybody... Feel free to come along, and also, like I say, feel free to add me on Steam, and feel free to join us on Sunday at about just after 4pm GMT time in the UK for some Diablo 1 fun on, on um, Game Ranger. We will be kicking butt and taking names with a bit of luck. If anything pops up where, where I have to cancel or anything, I will let you all know, but as far as I know, it's, it's full steam ahead. I can't see any problems coming up, so it would be awesome. But there's always the odd risk of an emergency, but I will let you all know. But we should be 99% there. So, um, anybody watching this now, later, if you enjoy my content, please enter like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell, leave me a comment. It's much appreciated. Um, yes, Henrik. See you Friday, buddy. And thank you very much. So I'm going to go now. So, take care of yourselves. Thank you very much today. It's been awesome chatting. Um, my kind of stream. So, I'm going to go off now. So, this is Retro Beard. Signing off. Bye for now. Cheers, guys. See ya. Um, especially if I remember what to click. Here we go. Bye.